What's up, YouTube, and what you know, my name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome back to Pokemon Crystal, the completely randomized Nuzlocke, episode number 38. In the last episode, which was yesterday, we explored around Celadon City and took on Erica, the Celadon City gym leader, defeating her for our... I don't think I updated the layout. Anyway, we defeated her for our third... Kanto Gym Badge. Um, so in today's episode, um, we are going to make our way to Lavender Town some way. I haven't even decided exactly which way we're going to go just yet. But if you want to check out yesterday's episode, you can click the iCard just above my head and it will take you to that. Um, and if you're excited for more Pokemon Crystal, go and hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. And if you wind up enjoying the episode, share the video out in some way and help me get this to 10 views. So there is going to be a grinding montage at the end of the episode, uh, but let's go ahead and just go through a quick, uh, a quick team recap of what we have so far. So we have Ladislas, our electric psychic hound doom, holding the soft sand to power up his whirlpool, also a spike cannon, waterfall pound, great defense, special defense, and speed. Then we have Uriel, our ice normal type Mew, holding the sharp beak to power up his flame thrower. Also with Cut, Fire Blast, and Razor Leaf with great defense and speed. Then we have Ikaterine, our Steel Rock Tyranitar, holding the Magnet to power up his Swift. Also with Thunderbolt, Fly, and Rock Throw with the highest stat on our team and that special defense and great speed as well. Then we have Goliath, our Electric Type Don Fan, holding the Hard Stone to power up his Rock Slide. Also with Horn Drill, Shadow Ball, and Surf with great special defense and speed. And newest to our team, we have Chin, the fire, fly, the fire fighting type Sunflora that we caught in the last episode, holding the Black Belt to power up his Pin Missile, also with Sludge Bomb, Bide, and Razor Wind, with great defense and speed. It's the first time I've seen that, so those, stat, those stats, not the most exciting, um, but we are going to put him back up to the top of our team. We'll let him lead. Now, what I'm trying to decide is... Should I go Cycling Road or should I go Lavender Town? I could make it okay, or that. All right, anyway. Um, oh, you know what? I can't go either. Well, all right, here's what we're gonna do we're gonna go Lavender Town. I don't remember how we're supposed to wake up. Oh, gosh, we got trainers. All right, let's take these guys out as we go. <clears throat> now, I wanted to talk about, uh, while we're running through people, um, I mentioned it yesterday, I do believe, uh, but we do have a new project coming soon um, for our other time slot. Um, it's going to wind up, it's going to be a co-op with somebody. And it'll be coming sometime in August. Haven't fully decided just yet, but we know that we're doing it and we know that it's gonna be in August. And it's gonna be a lot of fun. <clears throat> we're trying to decide what game to play. We had a couple different options. And uh, I'm very excited. I'm very excited for what we decided on. All right, so she bought us something. Let's go see what she bought. Okay, um, also you'll notice that this is another daytime episode. Uh, I keep meaning to do a nighttime episode, but I'm in the middle of waiting for something. I'm waiting for a phone call specifically, so if my phone rings, there's going to wind up being a cut, and we're really hoping that my phone rings at some point. Uh, she probably bought us a mint berry, or a quick claw. Or a king, though, we had both of those. So maybe a focus band. Maybe a cleanse tag. Nothing too exciting. Um, but anyway, the game that we're going to be playing, uh, I don't want to give too much, too many hints. Uh, it's not going to be a standard storyline game. So what I mean by that is it's not going to be like, we're not going to play red and blue. We're not going to play something like that. It's going to be something... Something different. Should be fun. Uh, 
One thing I don't like about Chin is Chin likes to miss a lot. And why are these guys level 37? I grinded up to level 51 uh, for Chin because in my head I was thinking that that would be sufficient considering the gym leaders that we're facing. I remember when we had a Pichu. We had a Pichu that didn't get to do anything because it died. Oh, we get to catch something here. Uh, trainer? Alright, cool. There's a lot of trainers. I think there's going to be a lot of trainers today in general. Oh, that's a flying type move. That's super effective. Magikarp is threatening. That's that's new. Also, Grimer is poisoned. That's new. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we can find. I just thought of a question of the day. So while I was going through grinding, as you'll see in the grinding montage, I had this thought of um, what if we ran into a shiny, which shiny claws is a thing. If we run into a random shiny, even if it's not the first encounter, we will be catching it. But uh, I was thinking, what is your favorite shiny Pokemon? And um, or I was thinking about that. So the question of the day is going to be, what is your favorite shiny Pokemon as we get into Lavender Town? Where hopefully nothing dies. Uh, we don't need anything in here. So my favorite shiny Pokemon is probably going to be Charmander. Um, you know, Charizard is, my se is tied for my second favorite Pokemon. So actually, now I think about that. Shiny Mew. I love shiny Mew. Um, name Raider? Nah. Um, I do not remember where to go. I'm trying to think of where we go to get the, uh, the radio card to upgrade our radio. Welcome. You appear to be raising your Pokemon in a kind and loving manner. Pokemon Pokemon lovers come here to pay their respects to the departed, etc, etc, etc. Okay. Is it... Oh, this is Kanto's radio tower. Why did I know that this is where we needed to go? Okay, this is definitely where we need to be. We've been off the air ever since the power plant shut down. This is an older man. All my efforts to start the station will be wasted if I can't broadcast. I'll be ruined. And only tour the ground floor. All right, sure. Uh, what's this guy say? Hey there, I'm the super music director, huh? You're poking your can't tune into my music programs. How unfortunate! If you get an ex expansion upgrade, you can tune. You can tune in. You'd better get one. Okay, so I have to do power plant stuff before I can do this. Okay. So let's actually make our way... I, I can't decide which way, where I want to go. Oh, we didn't get an encounter. What am I doing? I'm all over the place. Speaking of what my favorite shiny Pokemon is, I love shiny Charmander. I think he looks super cool. Gone. A Murkrow. I remember when we almost had a Murkrow. Who remembers the almost Murkrow? That was a long time ago. All right, a Growlithe? What is a Growlithe? Okay, so before, uh oh, um, before I can get, why is everybody missing? That's so annoying. Uh, before I can get the radio card, I have to take care of Celadon or uh, Cerulean City. So I can get the radio card. So our first encounter is a Corsola, which I thought was going to be, when I first saw it, I thought it was going to be dupes. Uh, but let's go ahead and catch this thing. My mind is all over the place today. I, I am, I am everywhere today. I just need this phone to ring. All right, we caught it. Uh, oh, that is not what I need. Um, where is it? 
Uh, let's go on here. Random name generator. All right, we have Corsola, the coral Pokemon. First name only, generate a name. Okay. The points on its head absorb nutrients from clean water. They cannot survive in polluted water. Give a nickname, of course. We're gonna nickname this. This Corsola. I feel like this name fits it, but it's gonna be Carlisle the Corsola. And that's our Route 6 encounter. Let's go ahead and put this back. We're, we're, we're not. Let's check it out. Let's check him out real quick. Corsola the Dragon type. That's actually not bad. With Protect, Thrash, Vice Grip, and Egg Bomb. And I mean, what we can't really expect the stats to be too high right now. But Dragon type. I'll have to keep that in mind. Alright, so now we can work our way down here. And we can actually get another encounter down here. Oh! <laughs> while we're fighting. Ah, oh, who remembers when I had a Venomoth? Nobody remembers, because I didn't put that in the grinding montage. Confuse, Ray. I was about to say, hit yourself in confusion one more time. Yeah, you use lock-on. You use lock-on. I feel so content fishing while I listen, while listening to some tunes on my radio. I just realized that we could potentially do a lot of encounters today. Is that what I want to do? We do need to find a sixth member to our team. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, that's annoying. We do need to find a sixth member to our team. What, why is it, does this guy, how many Pokemon does he have? Six? Why does he have six? Goodness gracious, all right. You're level 53. You're getting carried away. Let's let Lattice Lost lead. It's been a while since we've seen Lattice Lost. All right, we're in Route 11 now. More trainers. I think we might just do a grind episode today. We might just fight today. Also, it's getting really warm in my apartment. Typically, I try to leave the air conditioner off in the mornings just to just so my electric bill is not sky high. Hyper beam, Jesus, calm down, calm. Trying to learn ice beam. Yes, you can learn ice beam. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of pound. Pound isn't very good. Let's see how good ice beam is. Ice beam is dark type, and is apparently decently good. All right, all right, we found a park ball. Basically, that's a Master Ball, right? Okay, more trainers. All right, let's go Ice Beam. Okay, that's a little, that's a little powerful. Let's see if it does it again. Let's see if it does it again. So what else can we talk about? What else can we talk about? We can talk about how next week we're going to have a... Uh, next week on Wednesday, actually. Uh, we're going to have a channel update. Um, talking about just kind of what's going on. Because the last couple weeks, since Digimon went down, I've been unable to... Uh, I've been unable to have a full schedule. So I, I, I even put a couple other videos, a couple other series on hold. Uh... I'm hoping that we can get everything going again. But we'll see what happens. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead. I can't go this way. Because this guy's here. So. Okay, I didn't even run into anything. Our encounter here is an Azumarill. Alright. Are you good? If this Azumarill is good, I think we might add it straight to the team. I think it heard me. So we're going to... Generate another. Have you noticed that most of the Pokemon we catch are uh, males? Anyway, Azumarill, the Aqua Rabbit Pokemon. The bubble-like pattern on its stomach helps it camouflage. Excuse me, helps it camouflage itself when it is in the water. Its name, and I feel like this name fits so well. 
His name is going to be Jerry the Azumarill. So let's see, Jerry, what do you have? You're a fighting rock type. So you're weak to psychic, flying, water, grass. Is that everything? Ground? All right, uh, let's go in here where we can pick up Lay Super Rod. Yeah, finally got a Super Rod. Now, let's use that Super Rod. Route 12. How far does Route 12 go? What level are we, 42, almost 43? Every time my phone lights up, I feel like I have to check it, so I apologize for that. Hello, Suicune! So yeah, when this video goes up, um, if you're interested, I should be streaming at the w when this video goes up. I should be. I should be streaming, so uh, definitely check it out. Links to everything is in the description. If I'm not streaming on YouTube, I'll be streaming on Twitch. Um, I haven't fully decided everything for today. Wait, oh, I already have the Lucky Egg with me. All right, so let's give the Lucky Egg to Jerry. Jerry's gonna need to power up a bit, but I think we'll add Jerry to the team. Oh, and let's go, let's go here. We're on Route 12. Scroll way down and let's use that super rod. See what the super rod brings us. Super rod encounter gives us. Is this dupes? It is not dupes. All right, it's a tentacruel, which actually could be strong. I'm gonna hit it with a spike cannon. Oh, come on, Lotus Loss. Ah. <sighs> Ah, I found a Moo Moo Milk. Wait, how do I get over? Oh, I didn't know this game could do that. I found a Pearl. I'm finding useless items. Oh, I'm in a different route now. Okay. Lotus Lost, you've lost your, uh... Lotus Lost, you've lost your, uh, your trust. Let's go ahead and we're in Route 13. So let's scroll down and let's use our Super Rod again. This time it's a Caterpie. This time it's a Caterpie. Ah! Uh, all right, hold on. Can I just catch this thing? Can I just catch this thing? Not in a Master Ball, please. Boom, caught it. All right, so what I might do, oh, that's a female, finally. What I might do, because we do have to do a grinding montage before the next episode, uh, is I might go ahead and evolve this Caterpie and see what happens, but this is Caterpie, the worm Pokemon. It crawls into foliage where it camouflages itself among leaves that are the same color as its body. Yes, I will give a nickname to Caterpie. What the heck is this name? Can this even fit? It will fit. I have... what? How do you say that? Zvezdana? Zvezdana? I feel like that's close. Zvezdama. Zvezdana. I said the wrong thing. Zvezdana. All right, well, I think what we're gonna do, uh, because this thing says that we've already been going for nearly 20 minutes, so we're gonna go ahead and save, and we're gonna call that an episode so in today's episode, we pretty much just battled a lot. It doesn't feel like we had, we did really too much today. It doesn't feel like we did 20 minutes, but the recording says that, so we're going to call it an episode. Uh, we basically started in uh, Celadon, went through Lavender Town, did everything that we could in there. They said we have to do the power plant to get the upgraded radio card. Um, so we're going to go through Fuchsia, Fuchsia City in the next episode. Uh, while we finish encountering and battling and all that stuff. So if you enjoyed today's episode, go ahead and hit that like button. 
Subscribe if you're new, and if you did enjoy, share the video out. All you got to do is go to my Twitter, and you can retweet the tweet that had this video. It would be so appreciated trying to get these videos to 10, uh, 10 views. And we will see you tomorrow for more Pokemon Crystal, the completely randomized Nuzlocke. Until then, have a blessed day.